How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another rant. Hope you're all doing well. Always nice to see a Lamborghini, isn't it folks? Beer of the day. Welfare. Quebec beer. And this is a Pilsner. And I am using another one of my low grade, low resolution camcorders from 2011. Might have even been from 2010, I don't even know. Gosh, it's hard to believe that's almost 15 years ago. Cheers, Marcus. So today's rant, today's rant, and I may have talked about this before on the channel. I don't know. I've put out almost a thousand videos at this point. But it has to be said, there are a lot of, I'm going to, keep it to retro there's a lot of well i guess you could say video games in general there's a lot of video game youtubers retro video game youtubers however you want to categorize it that talk about video games a lot they put out two to three videos a week on their channel maybe maybe not that much maybe a video a week But do, but do these YouTubers actually play video games or do they just talk about them? So I'm not going to name names. Um, you guys, you, you've all seen it. And to a certain extent, he hell, I've been guilty of it. You know, when I first started out on YouTube, well, even before I started out, I just, I remember... I. I make a long story short I got back into retro collecting I don't know how but I came across Metal Jesus Rocks on YouTube I found his videos to be extremely entertaining started watching John Hancock and the whole crew and at some point I was watching Escape to Gaming uh, Dean Thompson and I thought I could start a YouTube channel and when I started out it was really exciting it was fresh you know i was excited to to put out a pickups video uh excited to get a response from the community anytime i'd see a new comment on one of my videos i, I couldn't believe it right i couldn't believe it and so you're always chasing the dragon you're always a hamster on the wheel and i was constantly putting out pickup videos and i would showcase the games i would I would pick up and it got to the point where like I, I would play the games for a couple of minutes and then I would put them down and I'd try other games that I picked up and it's a vicious circle right so I kind of get I kind of got out of that that's why you don't see me do pickup videos that often anymore but even even still you see youtubers out there take a sip of my beer here before it becomes piss warm You see YouTubers out there and they post videos about like, you know, my top 10 games so far of 2024. And I, hey, you should check out this game. It's really good. From what I played so far, it's really good. And, and then this game here, I just picked it up the other day and so far it's pretty good. And, and you're looking at, you know, the video clips that they've embedded into their video. And little splice, little splices of video here and there. 15 seconds here, 15 seconds there. And you get the impression that they didn't really play the game. They bought the game. They put it on to capture some gameplay footage. If it's even their gameplay footage. And they're more concerned about putting out a YouTube video. Talking about games that they have in their collection. Versus perhaps maybe just taking a step back. And, and trying to not only play, but maybe complete some of these games. It's it's sad. The amount of YouTubers and gamers out there that start games that they don't actually see through to the very end. I talked about this yesterday on my Prince of Persia video that I posted. And hey, that video didn't get a lot of views. So, so be it. You want to know why that is? It's because when all the YouTubers out there were busy posting Prince of Persia uh, review videos, 
less than 24 hours after the game came out, I was taking my time with the game. And by the time I completed it, everybody else in the in this community has moved on, right? They've all moved on. So that Prince of Persia video is not triggering the algorithms. Oh, oh no, oh no. But I'm telling you, that game, I looked at my hours I've logged in so far. And I probably played about an hour of the uh, the new DLC that was released for it a couple of weeks ago. And my Switch is showing me, the game is showing me I've put in over 30 hours in that game. So at least 29 of those hours was from the base game. Now you can't, I don't care who you are, you can't beat a 29 hour game in two days. You can't. You need to take a break. You need to walk away. Even if you were trying to beat Prince of Persia the Lost Crown as fast as possible, it's still going to take you a couple weeks. It, it would. It absolutely would. Unless you're like 15 years old and you're living in your mom's basement and you've got nothing better to do. You don't have a car. You don't have any responsibilities and you're just sitting there playing the game. For the rest of us, that's just not a reality. So, But I'm happy. I'm happy that I saw that game all the way through because I'm telling you, most people that played it did not see that game all the way through. And most of the YouTubers out there that, cl that claim that they beat it just to put out a review... I, I have a hard time believing that a lot of those YouTubers finished the game. And a lot of the games that are out there these days. We could go on and on about all the games out there. Starfield. How many YouTubers actually completed Starfield? Red Dead Redemption 2. Cyberpunk 2077. These big magnum opuses that take not necessarily months to beat. But if you're taking your time and you're progressing through the story and you're looking at every little nuance within the open world and you're playing the game it's meant to how it's meant to have been played and not trying to bum rush your way right through, it's gonna take some time, right? So yeah, I've just I, I I've this is nothing new. I've seen YouTubers uh recently and in and, and days past, years past as well, that I, I just notice it. You can just tell. You can just tell they love to talk about video games. They love to talk about video games. And I understand that to a certain extent. But you really got to wonder if a lot of these YouTubers are actually beating the games that they're purchasing. And that's really, it's, it's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. You're collecting video games just so you can post YouTube content. But you have no real intentions on completing the games that you're buying and, and and one of the worst rabbit holes you can go down is is the rabbit hole where you're constantly starting a game and then you put it down right away and start another game i can't stand that oh my god i i try my best not to do that i've been guilty of it but i told myself with prince of persia i said i'm gonna try to just like not put out any more youtube videos and just focus on beating this game and once i beat this game I'll put out a review. Now I downloaded the new DLC for Starfield, Shattered Space. I downloaded it last night. Now I don't know if I'm going to try it yet. I don't know. I really want to. But I started playing uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon. And I would like to see that through first and then move on to Shattered Space. But a part of me wants to jump right into Shattered Space because it's still relevant and it would be nice to put out a YouTube video like a review while the game is still being talked about. Not necessarily for the views. It's it's just, you know, it. I'm tired of always being that guy. That by the time I get my review out, everybody's moved on. I would like to be part of the conversation too. <laughs> but, you know, on my channel, I, I when I first started posting videos, a lot of the videos, not all were pickup videos, but more recently, in more recent times over the last couple of years, I've been really focusing on final thoughts videos and, and, and video game reviews. And, and you know, I, I have to toot my own horn here. My biggest accomplishment on this channel has been my video game reviews. Not necessarily as far as uh, the views the videos have received, but just in terms of being able to look back at all the games that I have completed. I think I have over 43 or 44 video game reviews on the channel and that's 
that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. So that shows you right there that I do not only talk about these games, but I also beat them as well. And I went on a real tear last year. It was just game after game after game. I beat Singularity. I beat Stranglehold. Uh, Wolfenstein uh, 2009. Did it come out in 2009? Yeah, Wolfenstein 2009. Uh, a couple other games too. I beat Starfield. Just the list goes on. So, yeah, you don't you don't want to be one of those YouTubers that just sits there and talks about games, but you don't actually play them. It's just, man, it's ridiculous. It's it's I don't know why I don't know why YouTubers feel the need to do that. I do, I just don't understand. I do understand, but I don't. I don't. I think a lot of it has to do with when you're when you're a YouTuber, sometimes you feel like if you don't get out two or three videos a week, you feel like your channel is going to be forgotten. So you feel like there's a sense of duty to put out constant videos all the time, but that's not really the way it should be. It should be more organic, right? So yeah, I don't know. I just I, I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers that are buying a lot of games. You know, look what I bought. 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 But they're not actually finishing what they're playing. They're not even starting what they're playing. That that's just man. It's it's a disease. It's a freaking disease. So I just wanted to sort of get that rant out there. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, and you've seen it too. Don't don't sit there and, and pretend like you haven't seen it. We've all seen it. If you're going to buy a video game, don't just talk about it. Put it in your f***ing console and play it. Beat it. Then sit down and tell us about how it was, okay? Don't tell us about how the first five minutes was. Don't tell us about how, oh, it seems like it's pretty good so far from what I played. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, it's part it's part of you know this hobby is just, there's so many games coming out nowadays compared to how it was 30 years ago that the, there's a constant need to pick up the latest and greatest all the time and I talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I've Pump the brakes on buying new games. I can't do it anymore. I cannot keep up. I need to play what I have. I can't just keep buying games because it'll never end. It will never end. I'm already sitting on some games that I've had in my collection for over six to seven years that I haven't played. That is f***ed up. So I need to just be happy and content with what I have. And then when Grand the Theft Auto 6 comes out, well then... Yeah, that's a day one purchase, right? <laughs> Woo!